All right, so this is a quick recipe of guacamole. Now the world doesn't need another guacamole recipe, but why I've chosen that one? Simply because I pack it with protein and the taste is unlike anything you've tasted before. Watch this. I start with avocado and we want some avocado that are nice and ripe and I'm pretty happy with these guys because Coach Chris actually selected them, you know. He went to the store this morning and got them for me and they're actually very nice. They're not bruised or anything like that but they're very soft and you want your avocado to be soft because otherwise they're going to be difficult to mush and they're not going to be ripe. Now if the pit is there, the trick is to take a large knife, give it a little cut, boom, they come right out like that. A little trick. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop them. Now uh, avocado is kind of like fatty, but you know it's good fat, it's mono and stuff with really fat. So that's the fat you, you need and you wanna eat. So just a protein packed va variation on the guacamole here, nothing else. For now, it's just like a regular guacamole. I'm just gonna give it like a little zzz, zzz like that. Give it some, we want to have some chunk in it a little bit, okay? Chunks are better, see? Okay, that's, that's what we want right there. And I'm gonna move that to the bowl. So I left a little bit of chunk there because I like that, you know? This is the difference between homemade and processed guacamole. We want to have a little chunk. It's nice and chunky, very nice, you know? Now I'm gonna use the same bowl and this is the variation where I'm packing all the proteins. We have avocado and I have some kale and I'm just going to go ahead and dump the kale in the bowl. And I also have some edamame, soybeans, fresh soybeans. These are available in the frozen section of your grocery store. They're packed with protein, they're very healthy. And I'm gonna dump that in there also. And boom. Move them around and I want you to take a look in there. Look, 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 look. You see? They're turning into like a like a very green paste. Now if you don't know anything about cooking, you know you can tell that this is fresh nutritional and really awesome looking, right? Avocado, fresh soybeans. Fresh kale. And I'm moving everything together here. Now something is important is that, that avocado, they oxidize. It means that they turn brown with air unless you add some acid. So lime will do it, of course. Or lemon works also. The more lime, the better. I love the lime. A little tangy taste like that. We have some tomatoes that are diced, some red onions, and I'm gonna dump that in the guacamole also. Now you will tell me this is great, but this is not seasoned. And you'd be right. So we're gonna go ahead and add salt. pepper and I like spicy so I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper now I'm gonna add the magic the, the magic is this it's just some chili oil I love chili oil I love when it's spicy and I'm gonna dump a few drops in there to make it with a little kick there and I'm only missing one thing that's the cilantro. Who stole my cilantro? <laughs> We've been spending. Do I steal it again? Wait, I didn't steal it. Okay. <laughs> we spent the day looking for, for the chopped cilantro. So here it is. I'm going to pack it with cilantro. So a lot of green vegetables in there avocado, kale, fresh soybeans, a lot of cilantro, some spices, tomatoes, red onions, 
And there you have it. Oh, lime. I forgot the lime too. Let's go ahead and taste it. You can come, 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 come. Let's just taste it. <laughs> Get more spoon. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't need anything else. I'll just eat that. Mm -hmm. I don't need to dip anything in there. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. This needs to be chilled a little bit, but it's you know, very cool, right? Amazing. The spice really kicks. Five minutes. It's what? The spice is kicking. Yeah. It's so good. I love, yeah. I love the, the chili oil. Yeah. It has a good flavor. It gives a little kick, you know? I like that. Oh. <laughs> Chef Guy is not fooling around, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to have more protein, more muscle building nutrients in your foods that generally won't have a lot of that. That's right. That, that's the trick. And it still tastes, it tastes better than normal guacamole. You know, Chris, you know, sometimes we haven't talked about that, but we can also add a little bit of protein powder also, you know? Absolutely. Just dump Actually, a few you could, yeah. scoop in there and mix it, and boom, you have your protein. You have whey, whey, protein, <laughs> whey protein in there. It doesn't have much flavor that's by itself. Right. It doesn't. You can add it to this. Yeah, amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Chef Guy, killing it in the kitchen. We'll see you soon.